Hey comic creators, uh, real quick in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add music into your uh, iMovie project. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, one way is in the top left hand corner there's an arrow uh, that points down. Uh, that's your import option so you can import any uh, music video audio file that you have so you go ahead and click that um, right there and then that will open up a, fo a folder where you can search through your computer this one's right on my desktop here so I went ahead and click and then I just click import selected and it adds it into my project file uh, right there um, the other way that you can add music into your project is uh, if you just shift your uh, window over here a little bit there's my desktop right there and you can just click and drag into your project file or um, you can click and drag the uh, uh, music into your project directly. Uh, so both ways work. Um, iMovie is really intuitive in that way. Uh, it's really good, but that's how you add music into the project. Now you'll notice here in this beginning part, you'll see that the audio uh, is kind of turned down uh, when I have my speaking part over it. You can see it just automatically was turned down. And uh, this is something that's bugged a lot of people with their background music. Uh, but if you click on your audio file, if you have a separate audio file, click on the little uh, speaker in the top right, there's an option there that says lower um, levels or lower volume of other clips that's automatically checked. When I uncheck it, the audio automatically bounces back up in my uh, music. For some reason, it automatically selects this, so any audio file underneath will be automatically turned down. If you wanted to record vocals into your project, um, you would just click on the microphone option underneath the preview screen, and that'll pull up your uh, mic recording options. And then the little red button in the center there, when you click it, you'll get a countdown, three, two, one, and then boom, you'll start, you'll start recording vocals on whatever microphone you have attached, or if you just start speaking to your computer, it'll record it using the built-in microphone on your computer. Uh, but that's how you would actually uh, record vocals uh, into the project on top of any other video that you already have. Uh, and then you would just click the red button again to stop the recording, and then it would automatically place that within the project where you started the recording. Um, the recording starts automatically wherever the cursor is placed, but that's how you would add another set of vocals in there, just recording right to your computer. And to manually adjust the volume of your audio, you can see the little center bar that I'm hovering up and down. When I click and hold my mouse down on it, it turns the volume level of that music up or down. Uh, the other way you can do it is underneath that speaker icon, there's a bar there that you can scale left or right uh, to turn the audio uh, volume up or down. The bar icon next to the speaker in the top right also has some other options for audio editing. You can enhance the audio using the presets for equalizer. Uh, you can turn the background uh, noise down. That's really better for vocals, not so much music. Um, but if you have like speaking parts, I could really help you there. Um, but that is the basics for your audio. Uh, if you need help looking for free, uh, no copyright sounds and music for your videos, I have a link up above or in the description below that can help you look for uh, those kinds of things there. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below and I can reach back out to you as soon as I can. Please like, share, and subscribe. That really helps the channel and I really appreciate it when you guys do that. And I will talk to you guys soon.